Greg Watford again and welcome to this video in which we answer the question, why residual income? What's the big deal about residual income? It's also called passive income. And uh, so what we're going to do is just go through a few examples and cover some various steps and give maybe some options you hadn't thought about regarding residual income, how to achieve it, and as I said, what's it all about? So let's just very quickly just whip over to the definition. So let's have a look at this definition of, of they call it passive income more than residual income, really. Wikipedia says that it's uh, passive income is an income received on a regular basis with little effort required to maintain it. Investopedia says it's earnings of an individual derives from a retail property, limited partnership or another enterprise uh, in which he or she is not actively involved. But really, what, it's, what it boils down to is this. Um, passive income, residual income is all about time freedom and being able to do the things that you want to do with, uh, with your family, with your life, to be creative, um, where you're not actually working, working for the man, or even, even if you're self-employed. Um, if you're, uh, I don't know, a, a one-man band, as we call it, uh, it's difficult to actually get ahead because uh, working in your own business as, as a one-man band, you really only just bought yourself a job with longer hours. So uh, Rockefeller is said, to, is said to have said, I would rather earn 1% off 100 people's efforts than 100% of my own efforts. And I think Paul Getty and Andrew Carnegie also quoted him as well. Uh, that... That applies to a normal business as well as any other uh, enterprise. If you think about it, the, uh, the, the chances of an individual making a success of, of an enterprise where they're doing it from all their own efforts, very difficult, such like an author, for example, to write a book. The number of um, successful authors or a painter, uh, for example, a musician maybe, very, very difficult to do it on your own. So let's let's have a look at some examples of uh, of passive income. One one probably you hadn't thought about is when you retire. Uh, if, you, if the government looks after you, uh, that's a pension. You're lucky to get about five hundred dollars a week. You're not working for it anymore, so it could be regarded as passive income or residual income. Superannuation, as we call it in Australia, New Zealand, and the UK, a 401 in the States. Um, it's basically, it's your money or your employer's money that's been put in over the years, uh, and you get it back at the end when you actually retire. So you might be lucky to get maybe a thousand, maybe two thousand um, dollars a week out of that. Uh, if, uh, if all goes well. Writing a book's interesting. A lot of people aspire to this. It's, it's, um, it, can be, it can be done very well. You can do the e-book route and do it online, but really to be successful, it needs to be published, it needs to go to print, and you probably need around about $5,000 to, to uh, get it up to the printing stage, to get it through editing and um, proof, uh, proof uh, written, uh, sorry, uh, uh, it's got to be proofed and set up for printing, which normally costs around about $5,000 after you've actually written the book. So you may take you one or two years to go and do that. Then if you're going to self-publish, you'll probably need another ten to 20000 uh, on top of that. Oh, the printing, by the way, yeah, probably around about $5 a copy. So if you're going to print a 1,000 books, you're up for around about $5,000. So in total, is about $30,000 there. So you may be lucky to get back if you go and sell the book at $30 a copy. You've got 1,000 copies, and you'll be, be lucky to break even. If you're going through a publisher, the figures are not um, – well, if you're a successful pub publisher – sorry, if you're a successful author like Robert uh, Kiyosaki, for example, it's, it's a, it's a no-brainer. But the, the figures work out this way – you would earn around about 10% of, of the retail price of the book. Uh, your publisher would want about 30%. Your, um, your printer would want around about 10%. So 10% for you, 10% for the printer, 30% for the publisher, and 50% for the retailer. That's roughly a plus or minus a few percent. 
So if you're going to sell a book uh, on the open market for $30 and you're going to be making 10% out of that, you'll make $3 per book. Um, and that does work. But of course, you've got to get you've got to find a publisher that will actually do it for you. So you may have to self-publish the first the first edition to actually get a publisher to even look at you. Um, but it but it has been done. Uh, if you have something in in the back of your mind that you'd like to do in the in the, this area, go for it. It's it's a great way to go. Investments these are passive incomes. You need about a million dollars um, put aside at five percent, or only fifty thousand dollars a year. Um, you know, that's in Australia, you're roughly 5% uh, fixed interest uh, to do that, plus or minus a little. Shares, you maybe double that perhaps. Real estate, of course, you need to have a real estate portfolio to have a reasonable income. And then, of course, you'd have to set up a, a small business or you'd put in a manager to, uh, to look after uh, your half dozen properties or a dozen properties that you'd have. So you'd have to build that up. Uh, inventions is a good one. A lot of people have some really good, bright ideas, and they go out and patent it, or have it, and then organise the trademark, and then go and license it. Uh, Wendy and I have got some very good friends who, who, a few years ago, invented a a yogurt or a yogurt, as as the um, uh, the English call it. This yogurt happens to be um, non dairy, so it's very good for vegans and vegetarians, and it's going great guns in, in Australia and New Zealand, and it's to the such extent that um, the, uh, some people in the US have, have uh, come over and, and uh, put their hand up, and also in the UK. So they have licensed, um, our friends have licensed these people around the world, in Europe, Russia, to actually manufacture the yogurt, and our friends earn a small percentage um, you know, just a few cents per tub of yogurt that is sold, and that that's done through a license. So they've actually patented it and trademarked it around the world. So that's in excess of a hundred thousand dollars just to go and do that. But th that's a very good example of a passive income. So our friends theoretically can sit back after they've helped the the people over in the UK and the US and Europe set up their plants and their distribution, etc., to actually get it out. And um, so, our, so our friends could sit back and have this passive income coming in through um, a royalty arrangement or license uh, agreement uh, that would be signed. It's, a, it's an excellent way to do it. Uh, commissions, the one I've got here is really to do with the finance industry. One of my businesses uh, was mortgage broking uh, a few years ago. And um, mortgage broking, I uh, wrote home loans for people and, and also car um, leases and uh, etc. So the way the finance industry is set up for mortgage brokers, financial advisors and some accountants is that when uh, a, a deal is done like this, there is an upfront commission of probably something in the order of around about, let's say in, in, the, in the case of home loans, uh, around about half a percent is an upfront uh, and that pays the, the broker uh, or the financial advisor for doing the work. And then there's a trailing commission, or just called trails, which is a very, very small amount, maybe 0.1%, maybe 0.2, or in some cases 0.25, that continues on for the life of the loan. Now, I'm, um, I'm familiar with this. Uh, the work that I did some years ago, as I said in this, in this uh, business, one of the businesses that I had, it generated these trails, and I'm still receiving trails today. Now, the trails, they, they taper off because as the, as the loans are refinanced or closed out, uh, properties sold, etc., cetera, the, uh, the trailing commissions cease. But right now, for example, I have a very nice car sitting, sitting in my garage, and the trails, uh, the trailing commissions, based on the home loans that I wrote some years ago, pay for the lease payment on my car. So that's a very good passive income. I don't have to do anything for it, uh, and it's there, and thank you very much. Um, I quite like that. Uh, okay, the last one we got here is network marketing, uh, which also incorporates affiliate marketing and multi-level marketing. This is a good one regarding passive income. Uh, and look, you might be saying to yourself, oh, no, not this again. It's, it's, uh, we've 
I've been there, done that. It doesn't work for me. Only a few people at the top make any money. Um, it's a pyramid scheme. What I'll do is I'll cover some of these uh, cover some of these comments in a uh, another video. But basically, look, if you just look at it this way, just just simplify it for a minute. The reason that you're bringing up these objections is basically what I believe is maybe a little, you're a bit uncertain, you're, you're not quite sure whether this has worked for you or maybe you actually have stepped out and it hasn't worked for you in the past for whatever reason. But if you just look at it like this, here you are working, let's say, in a bank. You're a bank teller down here and the board of directors is at the top. The bank teller is going to be earning, what, fifty, sixty thousand $60,000 a year and the board of directors up here are earning whatever, half a million, maybe a million, um, the uh, the CEO uh, up here, or the president, as uh, is, is it's called in the states, the chairman, chairman of the board. Uh, what? How much is he earning? Maybe several million dollars. Now, what's the chance of you, as a bank teller down here, climbing the corporate ladder and sitting on the board of directors and earning half a million dollars a year for for not much effort? And uh, well, the chances are pretty close to zip, uh, I believe. Okay, over here we've got we've got a network marketing, affiliate marketing business, an internet marketing business, an online business, whatever it may be. Okay, so here you are at the bottom. You've just started out. You've got people at the top. For example, we have uh, in our system we have Albie Costa and Lawrence Housebrook. Lawrence is from South Africa. Albie is an Australian uh, from Coffs Harbour. Uh, now, what's the chance in in a year or two or three or four or five of you getting up to the point where you're starting at zero and you could be earning what they're earning, $20,000 a week. Now, the chances of you doing that are very high if you do what they did, if you're passionate about it, if you're self-motivated, um, you're open-minded and you're teachable there is almost a 100% chance of you rising from here to here in a relatively short period of time. Now, that's what Albion and Lawrence did. Uh, last, last, when was it? It was in August, August 2000, uh, um, uh, 2013. They started this business. They were down here. There was two people in their organisation. They've called their organisation Pro uh, Protection Through Gold. And that's part of the support system that Wendy and I belong to. So they started down here in August in 2013. Now it's it's just into May, beginning in May. So we've got uh, August, September, October, November, December, January, February, March, April. So we're looking at eight months. There is now 14,000 people in their business, from two th two people to 14,000 people. And they just did that because they were passionate about it, they were teachable, they were self-motivated, uh, and they put together a system, and it's a system that, that we're actually following. You could do that, okay? So right now, you're at a fork in the road, okay? You're watching this video not by accident, and you're saying to yourself, oh, the residual income, yeah, yeah, it'll get me out of a hole, or I don't like going to work. So there's your choices, those two right there. This one here, working for the man, climbing the corporate ladder, uh, 40 years, 50 years to do that, and you'll end up with maybe a, a reasonable pension, superannuation, 401k of one or $2,000 a week maybe. Here you can work one year, two years, six months. You could do it in half the time of LB and Lawrence. It could be done. Um, so, all right, it's going to take a little, a little bit of time and effort, and you can go to go from there to there and earn five thousand dollars a week, ten thousand dollars a week, or what they're earning is roughly twenty thousand dollars a week. You could do that. So, as I said, you're at the fork of the road, and it's up, it's up to you. It's a decision that you have to make. My suggestion is that you step out, and right below this video is a link. All you've got to do is click the link. It'll, it'll have a reference to Profit Through Gold. You click that link and it will take you to a website and um, all you've got to do is put in your name and, and email address. 
I'd like to have a name in there because then I know who I'm talking to. Now, two things will happen once you put in your details. The first thing is that you'll be taken to a new web page and there's going to be videos to explain a lot of things to you about the financial industry uh, and about Carrot Bars Gold and about our business and what you can do to actually start a business with a free gold savings account. So that's number one. Number two, the second thing that will happen is that I'll personally send you some emails. Now, these are important emails. They'll have some very special videos in there. I'm going to introduce you to Lawrence and Alby. And um, to receive those emails, emails there will be a confirmation link that you probably need to click on. So what I'm suggesting is go to your inbox and go and find those emails. They could be in the junk folder. If you're running a Gmail account, it could be in one of those little tabs across the top. Uh, personally, I get rid of those tabs. There's, there's three of them normally. I, I go and delete them. I only have one. It's too confusing. I can't find my emails. <laughs> so look look for the emails. My emails will come from info at carrotbarsgold.com.au. So that's info at carrotbarsgold.com.au. Okay, so go and check that out and go and have a look at those e emails and look at those videos and then go and make up your mind and come and join us. Come and, come and join our team. Uh, it's what we call the gold team. Look, if you come and join us, that's us, me, Greg and Wendy, and you're keen. Whoops. Look at that. That's my son calling. I'll, uh, I'll just quieten that out. As I said, if you come and join us and you're teachable and you're uh, open-minded and You've got a, a good, you're self motivated. You've got a good work ethic. You you can you can uh, build a build a business, do, do something to actually um, really get going. If you do that and you follow the system, it's, it's what we call the gold team, which is part of of the protection through gold. Wendy and I will personally reach down and pull you up by your hand. If you go and put your hand up and and ask for help we will be there to, to help you, okay? So that'll do. There's a little link below there. Go and click on that. Go and get some more information. I look forward to having you coming on board. I look forward to meeting you, and I look forward to helping you build your new Carrot Bars business. So thank you for watching, and I wish you all the best. Bye for now.